I'm going to give you additional resources where you can learn more about dynamic content and custom forms. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm Brian Watchers from Bavork. If this is your first time here and you want to learn about automating, programming, and monitoring in VMware environments, you're in the right place. Start now by subscribing and click the bell so that you don't miss a thing. We've made it to the last video in this series, and now you know how to create dynamic drop-down lists and other types of dynamic content in your custom forms in both vRealize Automation 8 and vRealize Automation Cloud. If you'd like to know more, hang on, if you just randomly landed on this video and haven't seen the whole video series, Go check out the playlist up above. Start with video one, and you can you, you can come back here to video eight later on. All right, if you were on video eight, if you have gone through this whole series and you want to know more about creating dynamic content in your custom forms, let me give you a few more resources. Now, let me go over to this handy dandy web browser here, and as you can see, I'm gone, I've gone to a blog post from one of my VMware colleagues. I'll put this URL into the YouTube description down below. But this blog post from my colleague Sam is a spectacularly useful example of how to use custom forms with dynamic content. And I say it's spectacularly useful because unlike my examples in the previous videos where there wasn't really any business logic, Sam's example here deals with things that you may very well need to do in your VRA uh, in custom forms and in VRA in general. So you may be dealing with things like users and SSH keys. You may be uh, working with databases and so forth. He does all those things in here. He shows you a blueprint from scratch. So there's the YAML code for the blueprint. And he talks about something called Vault. That's a secret uh, engine database. And he shows you step by step. Okay, we're going to create this action. I seem to recall he has you create four VRO actions. Gives you all the JavaScript code for all of them. And it goes on and on and on and on. Great post. Lots of useful information. If you haven't already copied and pasted the URL from the YouTube description down below, Get on it. This is a great example. Another resource that's available to you if you want to know more about VRA and uh, VRA8 and custom forms and lots of other things related to VRA8 is VMware Education has a course. We'll actually have multiple courses, but currently we have VMware vRealize Automation Install Configure Manage for version 8. And as you can see, that class has loads of information in it. Uh, I teach that class. I would love to see you in the classroom. If you have questions, you can certainly contact me if you'd like. I'm Brian W at VMware.com. Or if you'd like to contact your sales, education salesperson, you can do that too. You can go to VMware.com slash education to learn about this course and loads of others. Now, as a parting word here, actually this will be more than one word, uh, with a few parting words, I would like to thank you very much for viewing this entire series of videos, and I'd like to encourage you to let me know if there are other videos that you'd like to see created to describe how to use vRealize Automation 8 and vRealize Automation Cloud. So please, please, please drop a comment in the YouTube comment section down below, let me know what else you want to learn? Let me know what you thought of this video. Let me know what you thought about the others. And please, it just takes a couple of seconds, hit that like button in YouTube. It really, really helps. So that's it for this video. Tell me down in the YouTube comments what you want to know, and I'll see you in the next video.